Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's Sacramel School. Beautiful pictures from Instagram dictate certain trends to us. How we should do a manicure, how clean and deep it should be, how to apply gel polish close to the cuticle. Looking at these pictures, all the nail techs strive for such a result. In this video, I will show you how to make a clean pocket under the cuticle, as seen on Instagram. You will see lots of useful tips, so subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. I chose a model with the nails and fingers that are perfect for showing off an Instagram profile. A long nail plate, good natural shape, beautiful fingers, good skin. Altogether, that will provide us with beautiful pictures. For the future coverage or alignment to be performed smoothly and without any bumps, you need to remove gel polish carefully. For this, I'll be using a green carbide drill bit. I remove not only the color coating, but also part of the base, so that the nails do not seem too voluminous at the end. Don't worry that the nail plate is a bit whitish. These are the milk base leftovers. I remove the gel polish liftings with the undercutting movement under the lifting. Now the smoothing stage. I'm moving the drill bit from right to left, thus the surface gets even, with no bumps. Don't make any short intermittent strokes. In order to have a clean pocket, we need to open this very pocket first with an orange stick or a pusher. I push the cuticle with the round side of the pusher and moving rectangularly, remove the pterygium from the nail plate so that I have to work with the knee file less. And the less we use a knee file, the less likely we are to drill through. Pull the cuticle back to see the pocket Another important point is how to understand whether the client has a pocket or not. We should look at the white lunula. If it is white, that means that there is no deep subcuticular pocket. And vice versa. If the lunula is small, then the pocket must be rather deep. It's not the case sometimes, since there are always exceptions. It also happens that, for example, there is no lunula at all. It is not visible. Now we need to check the depths of the pocket with a pusher. In order to see the surface under the cuticle, you need to set the table lighting correctly. Put the lamp in such a way that the light falls under the cuticle and not behind it. Since there were lots of liftings, I'm buffing the nail with the soft side of the file, removing the base leftovers. It's important not to leave the liftings from the previous coverage, since when you apply the gel polish, it will peel off again. While working, I always wear a brush on my finger in order to remove the dust and see clearly under the cuticle. For removing pterygium, I'm using a red diamond drill bit. Forward position, I set the speed to about 20,000 revolutions and proceed with light strokes from right to left. It's important to pull the cuticle back, lift up the finger so that the light could get there and see if everything is clean. If you like the result, then you can get to the next nail. I regularly remove the dust with a brush in order to understand whether there is a pterygium left on the nail plate. While working on the left sinus, I put the finger to the side so that the drill bit could work on the skin. But I don't use a brush too much. For many nail techs, it's like a parasite move when after 2-3 drill moves, there go several brush strokes. With the same drill bit, I'm removing the remaining color from the nail plate. Within the first drill pass, I separate the cuticle from the nail plate, and within the second one, I press the drill bit to the top of the cuticle in order to file. If you feel that the bit is not that effective and clogged, then clean it on the buff. I processed all 10 left sides. Now switch in the direction of rotation, the same speed, we are processing the right sides. A really important stage is smoothing out the cuticle, when I pull it back and open it with the flat side of the drill bit. When processing the right sinus, I also turn the finger to the side. If I lower the finger down, we can see the shadow from the cuticle. And vice versa. Now I lift it, pull off and continue filing in this position. I see there is a big crack on the fold of the index finger. I open it with the tip of the drill bit and file with the white part until it's gone. When it comes to cracks, 
it's more effective to file instead of cutting off. On a thumb, in the middle, there is a skin glued to the nail plate. And if you don't notice it by chance and live like this, you won't get a clean manicure. And 100% that the coat will lick. Since my model's cuticle does not get on the nail that much, I can already start shaping at this stage. Find the shortest nail and start filing it. Giving it a square shape. To compare the lens correctly, we can use a compass, since not every nail tech may get the lens by eye. I open the compass and measure the distance from the cuticle to the free edge. And now I should have the same distance on all the nails, the same lens everywhere. If the nail is wider, then increasing the free edge by 1.5 to 1 mm is allowed. It's quite a useful life hack for beginners to compare the lens. The pinky finger should be slightly shorter by 1 mm, and the thumb, in turn, on the contrary, should be longer. To make sure that you have filed the shape correctly, turn the client's hand away from you and look at the symmetry of the corners, whether one is raised higher than the other one. I'm using the tweezer scissors to make a cut. I get the lower canvas under the cuticle and close the top one. I go in small cuts, 2 mm each. The band of the scissors repeats the band of the cuticle. I turn the finger towards the cut. And my favorite part! I didn't cut the cuticle completely on purpose. And now I only need to remove it literally with one go. Give this video a thumbs up if you also like this process. I'm cutting off larger hangnails and filing off the small ones with a drill bit. Now we got to that very secret of a clean pocket under the cuticle. And this is filing over a remover. It's important that the remover is soft, not aggressive alkaline. Now we will apply it to the skin and with the help of a diamond drill bit, we will beautifully finish everything off, as seen on Instagram. At this stage, the manicure is not that hypnotizing. We can still see the remaining dust in the sinuses. So I'm applying a cuticle softener to my glove. And now with the help of a stick, I spread it on the cuticle, building it under, in the sinuses, in the folds, I don't apply the product with a brush from the bottle, because it's not hygienic to apply a remover with a brush from the bottle on each client. Due to the remover, some more skin particles are exfoliated and the skin is polished. I set the speed to 5 to 7000 RPM, forward position, work on the left sinuses and lateral folds, and in the reverse position, the right sides. The remover must be neutralized with water. I'm dehydrating the nail plate. That's the result under the macro lens. Of course, our clients don't go with macro lenses and don't examine the manicure so thoroughly. This method is relevant when creating a portfolio, when we want to show all the details, that we do the manicure wisely, we never get deeper than needed, we never overdo the nails and work within reason. Since the previous coverage did not hold on well, it was peeling off, I apply a primer to the entire nail plate. Since the architecture of the model's natural nails is good, we don't need any alignment. I will use a base that is medium or liquid in consistency. I apply it to the entire nail plate in three moves. Grab a drop, set the highest point and pull. You can help yourself with a brush from the bottle or an additional thin one. Several strokes on the sides and my base leveled itself. Without turning the hand, I send it to cure. Before applying the color, I push the cuticle away with a pusher, creating a pocket. We need this step for a deeper application. You can paint under the cuticle in several ways, with a brush from the bottle, with a flat brush or a thin one. Choose the one that is more convenient for you.
I apply the color on four nails at once because it's not supposed to leak and it turns out faster. I'm covering it with a medium layer of a sock of top coat. If you see that the highlight is not very even, turn the hand over, let the top self level and send it to the lamp to cure. For more definition, I'm filing the ends with the soft side of the file. To create a design, we need some acrylic powder. I'm mixing the sick gel with the main color, adding some white to make a different shade. I'm mixing it myself using thick material, because if you paint with regular gel polish, it can easily chip. First, we are drawing dashes on one side, symmetrical and equally spaced. Then we are drawing parallel dashes from the middle on the second side. We get these dotted lines. You shouldn't draw them too thin, just apply a medium layer. And now we are drawing slanting lines. I remember how we used to draw such braids in school notebooks. Give a thumbs up if you used to do it too. I'm drawing a thin line from the side, very thin at first, just outlining, and then I'm thickening it a bit. I'm generously sprinkling it with acrylic powder. Wait a few seconds for the powder to be absorbed into the design. Due to the powder, it will look cozier, as if it really was kneaded. Now shake up the axis back into the jar and send it to cure. You need to cure it well, about 2 minutes. After the final cure, using a stiff brush, remove the excess powder. Let's sum up. Not all of our clients are such picky perfectionists who would observe their manicure under the macro lens. Therefore, we mostly need such a clean pocket under the cuticle to advertise our services in order to attract the new clients. We post them on our Instagram profiles as beautiful pictures. Did you like the video? Then support us, give it a thumbs up and write in the comments what you think of it. I wish you all clean manicures. Success in your work. Bye-bye!